my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm Monk Muscle. And in today's video, guys, it is totally random, but we are making at home crunch wrap supremes. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm obviously a lot more active on there. Things are in live time and I post a lot of pictures of our dinners. I get creative every week and I posted a picture of a crunch wrap supreme that I made from home and you guys blew me up for how I make it. And so I'm like, all right, well, we're gonna bring it to YouTube and show you guys how simple this recipe is to make. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you aren't already following me on Instagram and you wanna see my meals and everything that happens within my day, be sure to follow me at Mom with Muscle. So without further ado, let's get into it. So one thing I do want to make a note of is I'm going to show you guys kind of like the OG way to make this Crunchwrap Supreme, but I'm also gonna show you guys some macro friendly alternatives for some of the ingredients that are in this particular Crunchwrap Supreme. So if you guys are a little bit more on the health conscious side, I'm going to give you guys some alternatives on how to cut down on the calories, carbohydrates, and fats. So I'm going to link everything down below for you guys, but I'm gonna get started with telling you guys what you're gonna need. All right, so first ingredient, very, very important, is you're going to need your taco seasoning. You're gonna need taco seasoning. I got ours from Costco, but you can practically grab taco seasoning from any place. Very, very key aspect to this recipe is extra large tortillas. Now they do make low carb tortillas. Again, I'm going to post a picture of what to be on the lookout for that are less carbohydrates than a normal tortilla. So extra large tortillas. You're then going to need hard shell tortillas. Now, again, if you're watching your macros, if you want to eliminate this process or this step altogether, you are more than happy to do so. But these are very, very important. This is like your center. Your set, this is your crunch out of your crunch wrap. So hard tortillas. You're going to need sour cream. An alternative for sour cream is non-fat Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a great alternative um, for sour cream. And Greek yogurt is very, very high packed with protein, low carbohydrates, and low fat. So Greek yogurt is a really great alternative for sour cream. You're going to need your protein. I'm using ground beef, organic ground beef. We do a really lean protein. So typically I'll get like a 96.4 or a 90.10. Anything that is less fat for protein is what we will typically do. If you're not really into ground beef, there's also ground turkey. Again, be on the lookout for the leaner fat turkey, as well as there is also bison, which is a great source of protein. Again, low fat on that as well. So that is what we're using for our meat. Then you're going to need queso cheese. This is a very, very important ingredient for this. So I was actually looking at the macros on the back of queso and it's really not as bad as you would think. Obviously don't douse your Crunchwrap Supreme in nacho cheese, but it's actually not that bad in macros. So nacho cheese. And then the last two ingredients, shredded lettuce, iceberg lettuce, whatever your preference is. And then Mexican style cheese. There's also a low fat Mexican style cheese by Kraft that is half the fat that is in normal cheese. So. Let's get started. First step is cooking your ground beef. You want this to be all the way done prior to adding in your taco seasoning. All right, so my ground beef is done. Now you're going to take your taco seasoning and sprinkle a generous amount. You can add onions if you want, like chopped onions and kind of saute them into the mixture, but I just do straight ground beef and taco seasoning. Now that that's done, move it to the side. Now it's tortilla time. All right, you guys, so here is my extra large tortilla. It is so big that it goes over my cutting board. You're going to place your ground beef right here in the center. Again, you don't want it to spread all the way out. Small circle like so. From here, you're going to take your queso cheese, drizzle it over your ground beef. Now you're going to take your hard tortilla and you're going to put your sour cream or Greek yogurt on it. Spread it out. Okay, so from here, your hard shell is covered in sour cream. You're just going to place that on top. Now you're going to take your lettuce. 
Again, keeping everything in that little bubble, that little circle. If you wanted to add tomatoes, you absolutely could. We are not really big tomato people, so X may on the tomatoes. Now from here, you're gonna take your shredded cheese of choice. Give it a nice little sprinkle, sprinkle. So from here, your crunch wrap is done. Here comes the main part, the folding. So you're gonna fold one section at a time. Now you're gonna to start to see that infamous crunch wrap supreme come together. Okay, now I'm going to get a hot skillet going. All right, so from here I have my skillet and I got it a little bit greased up. You're going to put your crunch wrap face down. That way it's going to seal that opening. Okay, we are ready to flip. So you guys get that nice seal on there. Beautiful. Okay, nice little cut -a And there you have your crunch wrap. There we go. Now you guys, one of the big key, key things that I missed out, you need Taco Bell hot sauce. Albertsons, Ralph's, I think most all grocery stores carry this, but this is essential where we have mild. So pick yourself up some of this, give it a nice little dollop and enjoy. All right, you guys, so that is it. Crunch wraps are so easy to make, and I hope you guys maybe implement this in your home. Sound off down below if you guys end up recreating this for one of your dinners. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.